Cardi B and Offset. <clears throat> this Cardi B and Offset situation is a perfect example by everything that I be talking about on my channel or everything I be talking about in real life with my friends. If you know better, you should do better, okay? If somebody loves you, love does not put you through none of the shit that Offset put Cardi B through. Now, let me put this out there. Cardi B, the moment that you knew that he was cheating on you and disrespecting you, he was done with you. The way he even put on, out on X talking about some, the whole world knows that I don't want you. I felt that in my soul, bro. I felt that in my soul. She may be over him, like, as far as, like, it's done trying, but ain't no way that you just don't care no more. The whole time when she was like, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, it, you sound like one of my students. Like, that's when you really fucking care, bro. There's no way you don't care because you kept giving this man a chance. I can see if... If you were at the point where, you know, a long time ago, you just stopped caring and really stopped giving this man chances and you were cheating back. Not to say I don't condone cheating back, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, people do stuff out of hurt and just, just wanting to fill a type of void, you know, just to feel something because she's probably been like an empty shell, feeling useless, feeling worthless. Because no matter what she did, no matter how much money she bought, how, how much she loved her husband, how much she cooked and cleaned and whatever the case may be, or try, you know, it wasn't enough. So she probably did that just to feel something. Like I said, I'm not condoning because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like... I feel like if you're at that point where you got to step out and cheat to feel something from because you're not getting it from your partner, then they're not your partner no more. You got to go. Hey, um, Cardi B keeps getting publicly disrespected by Offset over the years, bro. That's just a prime example. Ladies, don't ever let a man tell you twice that he do not want you, okay? And I'm not talking about verbally because a lot of these men are cowards, right? They're not going to say, oh, I don't want to be with you. I just wanted to sleep with you. Or maybe this situation became way too much deeper than I really wanted. I just really wanted like a situation. They're not going to really say it, but they would damn sure treat you like that. And it's up to us to start thinking with our heads and not our hearts, okay? And I don't, you know, sometimes I say hearts, but honestly, I don't even think we'd be thinking with our heart sometimes sometimes our heart be broken too i think that we just keep trying to give people chances because it's a reflection of how we feel about ourselves or just like you know we seen our parents things didn't work out so we like we gonna do the best the damnest the best that we can so we won't end up like that situation or you know i want to try to save our relationship but you can't if you're at the point where you're telling yourself you're going to save something you ain't got nothing to save so first of all Two people can save a relationship. One person is not going to save a relationship. What you're going to do is have one person pulling and tugging for the relationship to last. And the other person is like just there because they're cowardly. They're too cowardly to really walk away. So that Cardi B, this is some... I'm not doing makeup today because it's raining. And y'all know. Um, the Cardi B and Offset thing is nothing new. Um, it happens in the community all the time. I think that, of course, because they're famous, um, it's been plastered. Like, their shortcomings also been plastered. And they plastering it. Because as a grown man and a grown woman, because I know I, I love Cardi, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like, it ain't just you and him beefing no more. Now, granted, as a grown woman, I'm not beefing with no man on the internet. But now, you're beefing. On the internet, and the internet is forever, okay, right? So y'all got kids together. One day, one day your kids are going to be old enough to look up this stuff themselves and see how their parents was crashing out about each other in front of the whole world. And I know you say probably don't care now. It don't matter. Oh, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Because my kids going to have their own opinion and stuff. But at the end of the day, kids are impressionable. Kids are impressionable. The internet is mean. And wait till they get old enough. They're going to... I mean, it's just... I just think there's some things that should not be on the internet. Again, Cardi B, is to me, is more like a personality than an artist. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like... I feel like she gave her momentum about her fan base. You know what I'm saying? Like, we her fans. And I feel like she feels like she owes us something. 
in in the midst of her relationship. She don't owe us shit. She don't owe us shit. Um, and honestly, we should be in a in a marriage. You know what I'm saying? I believe marriage is sacred. You know what I'm saying? But then everybody, everybody don't look at marriage the same. Um, obviously, Offset doesn't. You know what I'm saying? The fact that this man continues to disrespect you, like, to disrespect you. And you know what else is funny? Now, Offset has cheated on this girl so many times. And I have not seen, like, one meme, one joke about him cheating or nothing. But the moment they found out that Cardi B slept with somebody while she was pregnant, all the memes and jokes came out. Y'all notice that? Y'all notice when a woman does something one time, it's just like, look, well, look, look what she did. She slept with somebody else. Yeah, I know I slept with 20 people before then, but she was pregnant with my baby, baby. You was probably sleeping with somebody else before you even got her pregnant. You was probably sleeping with somebody while she was pregnant. You know what I'm saying? But because she's pregnant, she's supposed to be held to a higher standard. Let's keep it a buck because men love to throw that on a lot of women these pregnant women about what they should do and their standards and stuff. But baby, let's let's keep it up. Y'all the life source. We're just the oven. We're like little ovens, okay? Y'all are the life source. The disrespect starts with y'all. See, a, a woman is a reflection of what you do to her. If you loving her right and treating her right, you're going to see like that glow. It's just the glow that women have that, that, you know what I'm saying? You can tell without her even plastering on the internet, without her getting on here talking about her love life, you can tell, oh, that man treating her right. It's because she reciprocating the energy. You don't have to ask for dates. You don't have to ask for your food or your back rub or for her to care about your feelings because when a woman feels love, she's going to return it. She's going to return it. The woman that's invested in you, though, anyway, I'm not talking about these hoes. Me and y'all, you love to get on here and talk about, well, do you, you, you chose a hoe, okay? But a real woman, she's a reflection of you. So, um, this whole, <laughs> this whole she cheated back and stuff, that is the consequences of your action, my nigga, okay? Let's take it back to elementary school. Cause and effect. A lot of y'all neglect to accept the effect of your causes okay y'all get on here well look at these women man like well they they can't do the same thing we do uh, yes we can and better and better and better should we no because niggas are stupid but it's just a whole other case but don't don't think shit too sweet don't think shit too sweet this whole situation in the day is ugly. I hate it for them. I hate it for the kids. But I also hate it for them. Because you know a lot of times people be like, oh, the kids is the one hurting. They hurting too. The whole time Cardi B was talking and yapping and stuff. Like, and I, I hear everything she said. But all I saw was a hurt woman. Because at the end of the day, don't nobody want their marriage to be over. And she sat around thinking that she continued to deal with what she dealt with. That it's going to get better. And it just didn't. And on top of that, it's in the public eye. So, yes, my heart goes out to those kids, but my heart goes out to them, too. Even Offset, even if he's the one, when somebody hurts you, hurt people hurt people. So, I just hope both of them get some counseling. Um, whether they need to stay together, that ain't none of my business. And that ain't none of y'all business. Because half of y'all with the same nigga that got your sister pregnant, um, got your cousin pregnant, uh, messing with your, your uncle. I mean, and y'all doing it in silence. Difference is you making forty thousand a year, she making four million a year. So don't nobody give a fuck about what you're doing. Okay, mm, bye.